If you watched my last video where I talked about the trends that I'm not going to be wearing this fall, I said in that video that the next video was going to be trends that I'm excited to wear this fall. So that is what this video is going to be about. I'm going to share with you like eight, I think, trends and show you some ways to style those trends with, you know, things that I already have in my collection, maybe give you some inspiration for ways to wear the things that are actually going to be popular this season. Obviously, if you don't care about any of these trends, wear whatever you want, wear what makes you happy. But I think that this year there are a couple of trends that I'm personally very excited to wear and I'm also very excited to style them and just kind of have fun with these because these are things that I used to love, but then they kind of like, you know, fell to the background and now they're back. So I'm excited. Let's just go ahead and get into the list. The first thing is probably something that is kind of controversial and I feel like it's an item that not a lot of people are excited about. I've seen it in the comment section of other videos like this and that is colored tights. I'm someone who, I really like tights, first of all. Like I'm someone, I'll wear tights literally all year round. <laughs> like I find that they help with chub rub, they look put together, they're comfortable. I just like having something under my skirts and dresses. Like even in the summer, I like, wearing like nude tights. That's just me. I know a lot of people hate that, but I like tights period. So it's a piece of clothing for me that I get a lot of use out of. And I found a site that actually sells really, really nice colored tights. And this is snack tights. This video is not sponsored. They don't know about me, but I wanted to put it out there because they are a very size inclusive brand that sell tights that are actually comfortable and don't like write down or roll down or do stupid things. So I'll have everything linked down below. If there's anything that you're interested in, just check my description box. I'll also show you the outfits and you know, link the pieces from the outfits that I'm styling as well. So I want to show you a couple of ways to, you know, wear color tights. If that is something that you're interested in, I feel like the best way is just to, you know, wear like a, a basic dress with maybe a layer underneath. Like that is a super, super simple way to style them. There are so many things you can do. And I feel like it just comes down to like your own preferences and how you like to, to wear your clothing. You can also wear them with maybe shorts and, you know, color tights or, it doesn't even have to be color tights. It can just be like fun tights, you know, whatever you feel like tights are just in season and it's a piece of clothing that helps keep you warm in the colder months. And it's just a very versatile way and a fun way to spice up an outfit that's maybe otherwise kind of boring. The next trend that I'm pretty excited about, but I wouldn't say that I have a lot of pieces that fits into this trend, and that is silver. Silver has been everywhere, all over the runways. It is something that I feel like has really come on this year, and you don't really see a lot of silver, like, you know, clothing pieces and stuff like that out and about. I feel like for myself, I just bought a pair of silver cowboy boots, which cowboy boots is also sort of a trend that I feel like is, is very popular this year. And I have never owned a pair before. So when I saw these on Journey Collection, which again, a very size inclusive uh, site for buying boots. If you're someone who has thicker calves, they have very, very wide calf boots. I will link the site down below. Really, really good quality for, you know, the price that you're paying. They're not shoes that's gonna last you a lifetime, but if you're interested in trying a trend, I would say definitely check out Journey Collection. They have some really, really cute shoes. And so with these cowboy boots, I'm thinking mostly just like simple outfits. Like the first thing that comes to mind for me is just like a pair of leggings with maybe like a, a button down and then a sweater thrown over. Like that is like one of my uniforms, I feel like for the fall, I live in Vegas. I don't need to dress super warm, but it does get kind of cold during the day. And I'm someone who just runs cold in general. So I do like, you know, being covered and being comfortable and always, it's always cold inside. Like air conditioning really makes me shiver. So I do like having layers and I feel like this is a good way for me to incorporate this trend and could also just wear with like, you know, jeans and a t-shirt and a cardigan or something like that, but play around with it. I feel like silver is a really easy thing to incorporate in your wardrobe and you also don't need to spend a lot of money to do so. Even just a handbag would be a great way to do. So also like statement earrings is a big thing this year. Um, it's something that I feel like I don't have that much of in my collection, but I did see these on Amazon. I've seen people talk about them. <laughs> And I was like, I need to get them. Are so many people going to be wearing these earrings this season? Probably. These are a do for the Bottega earrings. Is that it? I think those were the ones. I did get these on Amazon and I did also, well, actually they came with two packs. So I have the silver ones here as well, since we are like talking about silver, I'll show you a little close up of these, but 
These are actually really, really nice quality. They're super affordable. I will link them below if you're interested. I kind of wish that I got the large ones though, because these are the medium ones and I wanted them to be a little bit bigger, like even bigger than this, to be like real statement earrings. And on the models on the website, I felt like they looked a little bit bigger than they look on me, but they're super comfortable, very lightweight. I think they're really cute and they came super nicely packaged as well. So very interested in, you know, keeping an eye on this brand and seeing what other things that they have on their on their storefront because these are really cute and I really like them and I can see myself like wearing these statement earrings a lot this year and this fall they're gonna look so cute with like turtlenecks which is like an obsession of mine like if you've been on my other channel for a while uh, I do have a makeup channel I wear like turtlenecks and mock necks all the time it's like one of my favorite things the next thing I feel like is something that most people already have in their collection already, and this is just dress pants. Like trousers, dress pants is something that I feel like we've seen a lot on the runways, just like in stores and in the past year or so, I feel like there's been a lot of this available and it's something that you can basically find anywhere now. So I feel like trousers is something that I'll be using a lot this fall. And I've also bought a couple of new ones from Express that I need to get hemmed. So I can't really show you a try on of those, but I do have a purple pair as well as a sort of brownish pair in the same style as the ones that I'm showing you. But it's just such an easy, you know, piece of clothing that you can dress up, dress down, basically wear whatever you want with. You can wear them with sneakers, you can wear them with heels, with boots. I could easily wear them with the cowboy boots that I have as well for like a little pop of silver. I think that would be really cute. So very, very easy piece of clothing to style and probably something that you have in your collection already. Another thread that I feel like I'm just kind of late to this one. And I feel like it's something that's been popular for a little while, but I haven't quite found like my perfect piece of this trend, which is cargo pants. Cargo pants is something that I feel like in the last year we've seen everywhere. Like every single website you can think of will have a pair of cargos. And I finally found one that fit me well. And these are from Abercrombie. And it's a store that I actually have been super impressed by lately, especially their curvy pants. Like I'm short, I'm 5'1", and I'm definitely a pair. I'm quite bottom heavy. So for me to find pants that fit me in the waist as well as fit me in the you know, thighs and booty is kind of hard. So I have found that their curvy line is perfect for me. And when I saw that they had curvy cargo pants, I was like, I need those because I know they're gonna fit. They fit perfectly. And I'm so excited to just be having fun with these and styling these. And like, obviously you can put whatever top you want with these. I'm not someone who's like super fancy when it comes to the way that I style things. I usually, you know, I like to pair basics together and stuff and have like fun accessories or whatever. Like I'm not super out there, but I also don't feel like the way that I dress is boring. So I'm like somewhere in between. So. You know, I like to not overcomplicate things, but I also like having fun with fashion. Another thing that has been so popular this year on the runways, it's been everywhere. And I feel like in stores, it's starting to pop up as well. And this is just a color red. Like everybody talks about this. We all know this is a thing this year, but red is a huge color. And it's also a very easy color to incorporate into your outfits. I'm personally going to try to style like clothing pieces that I have that are red because I don't have a lot of like red accessories. I do have a red bag, which is quite small and not one that I feel like really goes with my outfit. Fits. So for me, I'm going to try to like style the red pieces of clothing that I have in a, in, you know, fun ways and just try to get more wear out of them this season. And I think it's also just a really flattering color on most people, depending on like the tone of the red. I feel like everybody has a red that suits them. You just need to find the right red for you, but it's just, it's a fun color. And it's, I think it's something that, you know, a lot of people could pull off very easily. And there's no like right or wrong way to, to use a red clothing item, even just like a scarf, like picking up a red scarf would go with so many things. If you have more of a, like a, a basic colored wardrobe and you wear a lot of, you know, black and gray and beige and stuff like that, it would be a really, really fun pop of color. Another trend that I feel like is super, super fun. And I'm going to like somewhat participate in this trend, but this is like fun socks. That is very much a thing this year. And even though I'm not really into like the super fun socks with like, you know, a lot of patterns and prints on them, I feel like colored socks is going to be really fun. And just using socks in general with boots is something that I really like doing already. So I mostly just have 
white socks but i did just buy a pair of like some fall colored socks on amazon that i'm excited to start using and i feel like together with like the red trend having like orange socks or brown socks or something like that it's just gonna look look fun and just spice up an outfit that's maybe otherwise kind of boring to something a little bit extra and i just think that socks is something that it's not going to cost you a lot of money to participate in this trend and it's something that's super easy to get a hold of uh they sell them everywhere like amazon <laughs> Did I say Amazon? I like Amazon, okay? Don't come for me. But they have a lot of options, so it should be pretty easy if you want to pick some up. The next one is something that I feel like I've never really been on board with, and this is like long skirts and long dresses. I feel like hemlines have gotten longer and longer in the past year, and now we're at a point where like really long skirts are definitely a thing. I said in my past video that like the maxi denim skirts are not for me at all, and I also don't, I just don't really gravitate towards long skirts in general, but I do have a dress that I really want to try to style for the like fall winter months because I feel like it's also another trend that's popular right now which is winter florals and I feel like this dress is like perfect for you know dressing up in more of a, a cold weather kind of way with layering sweaters over the top or underneath wearing with boots maybe like a biker jacket or something like that and I think that I'll be able to get more wear of this actually in the winter months than I do in the summer I think I've used it twice this year and yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like it's more of a winter piece just because of the, the colors in it. So I'm excited to try to wear more long line skirts uh, in the winter because it's not something that I've really played with before. So that's going to be a little new experience for me, but I'm excited. The last thing on my list is vests. And I feel like I've kind of been a vest person for a while. Like, I've always liked having that extra sort of layer on top, especially over something that is more oversized. But I bought this vest from Express, and it's been probably the best purchase that I've made clothing wise in the past year maybe i've used it so much already and i feel like there are so many things you can do with it and it fits me perfectly and i can just layer it over whatever i want to honestly like it's just going to go so nicely with a lot of different things and you probably notice now that i haven't really included a lot of outerwear pieces um, in my styling clips simply because i live in vegas and it does not get that cold here except for maybe at night if we're like going out for dinner or something but during the day i'm not going to need a jacket so for me to style things wearing a jacket i don't really have a lot of outerwear it doesn't really make sense for me so if you're imagining these just like you know think to yourself like what would i wear for a jacket with these outfits if the outfits are something you can see yourself wearing I don't know, I'm not gonna be showing you a lot of outerwear because it's just not something that I need to wear here. But yeah, I'm just, I'm excited for the trends this year. I'm excited to just have it be cold again. Like I know cold is relative, but for us here, like it still gets cold. It gets to the point where, you know, like sweaters are much needed and I'm very much a long sleeve kind of gal. So I'm excited for that. And I can't wait to pull out my sweaters again. Every time I look in my closet, I'm just like longingly staring at them being like, <laughs> So, yeah, I think those are going to be all the trends that I wanted to mention. Let me know what you're excited to wear this fall and if there are any trends that you disagree with. Of course, you're, you know, you're free to disagree with whatever you want. And yeah, just let me know what you're excited about. Also, what you're not excited about this season. I know if you haven't watched my last video, maybe go watch that and comment on that one as well. That would help me out very much. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.